What is healing your business? And how do you heal your business? That is something I'm going to explain in this video and also why this is extremely important and sometimes even the only way for you to be able to make progress. Because sometimes there are things you're not aware of within your business, you can't see or you see them and don't know what to do and how to change no matter what you've tried. And then healing is probably the best solution. My name is Tine Karense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed women who are on their way building a business and becoming a business owner. Now let's dive into that topic. First of all, what is healing? Healing is when energy shifts, when things start to move, when things start to cure, but not curing in a medical point of view, but, but curing, that's why it's called healing, um, in a metaphysical way and in an emotional way. So when you are in a process of healing, when it's about you, it might be emotional. You might feel insecure, you might feel wobbly, you might be in tears, you might not know what to do. That's totally fine when you're in a healing process because often that is a phase you go through. When it's about healing a business, it's about, it's also about shifts. It also can be about trial and error and, 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 and not knowing where to go to, but, but trusting that process knowing, inner knowing, that the outcome will be okay, no matter how, without having to control things, without having to know how you have to do things. Healing is often about letting go of old patterns, old behavior, old actions, old emotions, feelings, and, and be open and curious for the new things, knowing what you want, knowing where you want to go, but not necessarily knowing how to get there, but knowing you will get there. I hope you can see the difference between the two, knowing where to go, but not knowing how to yet. That will evolve. How can you heal? First of all, um, there's one method where you will have to know what's not going right. Whether it's within you, whether it's in the business. So you have to notice patterns, repetitive things that are not working in the way you act or in the way the results are not showing up in your business or in the way people behave towards your business, in the way things are going wrong repetitively in your business. So for, it's important to find consistent things that are not going the way you plant them, whether it's within you or whether it's within your business. And when you know repetitive steps is a sign of the universe showing you doing this will give the same result, will give the same outcome. So don't keep doing that. You know, it's Einstein saying, um, doing the same things over and over again and, and expecting different results is a definition of insanity. But yet, so many people do it. And I also see it with clients. And I do it. But I'm unaware. That's why I have my mentors and my coaches and my support group. So on the conscious level, that's that's you can see what's going wrong you can take the necessary steps you can 
find help and you can say hey listen this is what's what's the results this is not what I, what I, what I don't want and somebody else can have a different view on how it should be done what the possibilities are for you they have new information information you didn't have before so therefore you were not able to take different actions and create different results so that is healing on a conscious level, on an action level, on an active level, on an awareness level. But there is also another part of healing, and that's the subconscious level, energetically. When you're not aware of something, well, well you still you see the patterns, but you, you, there is something you, 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 you have to have a request or something that you would love to change. And there, healing can start. And healing is, you don't need to know what, the, what, what, what the, the solution is. You don't need to try something different. Healing on a subconscious level is energetically. Energy shifts. And because energy shifts and particles shift and move, it creates a different vibration outside of you towards the universe. And therefore, it can respond differently. It can send different people, different uh, insights, awarenesses, different situations. We call that coincidence, but it's not. It's you creating that because you are making energetic shifts, because you are healing. Now, how can you heal? Part of it you can do yourself, it's like I said in the beginning, it's surrender, stop fighting, stop resisting and that's extremely difficult and I can speak from my personal experience. It's easier to hold on to the things that are not working because at least we know that that is not working but we feel in control and we know what the outcome is, even if it's not the outcome we want, it's still safe than not knowing what's going to happen and not having any control and letting go and just surrender. And surrender is stop fighting, stop trying, stop thinking that you need to do something. Just be there. Accept that things are not going the way you want them to go. And first of all, be at peace with that. Accept that. Love the fact that things are not going the way you want them to go. And some people can never do that. It's extremely difficult. How can you love things that you discussed that you don't want? But there's always a message in there. And you can only start to see it when you start to love that you are in a situation you don't want to be. That's the way to get out of it. It's an it's, it's a huge paradox. There's another way of healing. And that's what I also do with my people. And that is sending them energy. Distant healing with Reiki. And when I do that, people come to me. They, they, there's something they, they want help with. First of all, I do some coaching because we need to really have clear if that's the core of essence. So I, I ask questions and stuff. And then when we have the topic that definitely needs healing, there's this energy that will be sent your way. And you might feel something, you might see things, you might notice nothing, but it works. Energy is shifting within you and in a while you might start to behave differently, start to feel differently. People start to respond to you differently. Things start to be easy, more easy. More coincidences come your way. So it's very important when you are in the face of wanting to grow your business and, and build and becoming a business owner to not only do it from the masculine point of view, which is action, vision, yeah, energy, 
but also the, the, the feminine, the energetic way. They are both important. And the masculine is important after you've healed something. But sometimes you need the masculine to bump with your head against the wall quite a few times to find out that that is not the way. To find out that there is, you need an energetic shift. And you cannot do that in action. It's not possible. You cannot do that in the masculine way. That's where the surrender comes. The allowing. The real healing. The deep emotional healing. Wow. <laughs> so if you want to talk about that, um, just schedule a quick 15 minute call with me. I will send you my calendar link. It's either in the, in the description or in the comments. Um, and, and, and we can do that, that, that little coaching to, to go to your core essence. Of course, I'm not going to do the healing, you know, well, that's my gift. Um, but we, we can find out what's, what's stopping you. So who knows, maybe we'll see you next uh, week in next week's video. Maybe I will even talk to you. I would love to talk to you. And uh, bye bye for now.